You're all very welcome to the second part of the tutorial on how to use field papers for surveying field names. So I got some information from a friend in Leash actually, so not at all the atlas that we created earlier in the other video, but it doesn't really matter. Um, he has five fields there, the bottoms, the, the hill, because it's hilly, the bounds, the meadows and the pasture. Um, and she wrote them all into the atlas that he created himself. And then he also added the river name, the Glorine River. Um, I had to contact him again and ask the flowing direction of the river. So if you do collect or if you ask people to collect that data, instead of putting the arrows like that, maybe they can indicate the way the river flows. And there's also a ditch up here that, I, that he confirmed to me. Or is it here? It's probably two ditches. Um, he didn't have a name for this lane here. He sent it as a PDF, which I can't upload to field papers, but I could just take a screenshot and make sure that I have the whole map and the QR code and then upload that. But before I do that, or instead of doing that, um, I'll use a different method. So I have this thing called a Remarkable, um, which I got last year. And it's proven quite useful, but I have to handhold the camera, so that's not great um, because it doesn't allow screenshots so far. They might add that. So, um, which that allows you to import a PDF, which is great because he sent it to me as a PDF, um, and then you can use this pen and write into the PDF. So, I'll just add an arrow there, for example, to indicate the way the river is flowing and then I could add ditch here for example and also there ditch so what you could do I don't know if you can do that with a, a normal tablet like um, an iPad or some Android based iPad um, if you can load PDFs into it and somehow write into it that would be great because it would save you from printing out all these papers um, but this is what the Remarkable can do, and you can then export this as a PNG, so a picture file, which would be great to upload then for field papers. So I can do that here, send by email, um, and send it to my email and then upload it from there. Or I can just save it, like if I, if I close this now, it's saved, and then I can upload it um, from the cloud and use it from there, which I'm going to do now. So there's the PNG now that I've downloaded from my email inbox. Um, it's all black and white now because the Remarkable only works in black and white, but that's fine. You can still make out all the important points. I will uh, upload that now to fieldpapers.org. So I'm on fieldpapers.org again, as in the first video. And on the right hand side you see capture your notes, upload pages you photographed. So I'll click on that and then choose the file that I have just saved somewhere in that's the trouble to remember where it is. There it is. So it says here oh missed that. Um all um, picture files like PNG, GIF. Uh, JPEG are allowed, PDF isn't allowed, it's what it said on the previous page there. Um, it has it uploaded there now. So I've zoomed in on where it was and you might recognize it from the, the atlas that he created. Um, I'll click on the ID editor. I had meant to do it in JOSM, but I think that's just too much new information um, for beginners. But JOSM is a really great editor for OpenStreetMap as well. So, as I said, I click on the ID editor link and I've already logged in with my username and I usually will have to wait a wee bit. So there we go. Somebody, probably me, when I added his houses some time ago, already put in the ditch and the river, but as you can see the direction of the river is wrong, so we click on it with a right click 
and this double arrow reverses the direction of the river. And then now we have the name Glorine River. You can type that in. Again, the fada is done by pressing the Altger. Still haven't found out what that is called, the long name. The Altger key on the right hand side of your space key. Glorine River. Um, yep. And the dishes all flow into the river, that makes sense. Um, it continues here, he was telling me about that bridge. He doesn't know a name for the bridge. Um, I won't bother with that now, I'll just fix that later on. Um, so, we're at the fields. We use the area thing and just outline it like in the other video. You can zoom in while you do that. Zoom in and out. Oh yeah, that's that's neat enough. And then land use features, farmland, and the name is the bounds. Don't know any crops or anything. Oh, well, that's grand. Um, then we'll next we'll do the hill, which seems to go like that. I presume there's a fence or something to divide these two fields. So name the hill, and then the next one, the bottoms. I presume it's at the bottom of the hill or something. name, don't forget the name, the bottoms, and then this one is called the meadow, like that. Actually, because it's called the meadow, we might as well use meadow as the land um, use. The name is a bit of a giveaway. And then the last one. These seem to have been two fields at some point, maybe. And go with farmland again and add the pasture. Anything else we want to add that sticks out? No. But you can see the names are in the fields now. So in the top right corner you can see I've made six changes. I click on that and I describe what I've done. So I've added field names, river name, um, yeah, that's it. Um, and then sources, very important, at local knowledge, because he lives there, he lives on this farm, um, so can't get more local than that. And um, yeah, if you can also put in survey, but um, I think it doesn't really make a big difference. Um, and I used the hashtag that I suggested earlier and click upload. And just to show you that it only uses that bit of the atlas that um, he sent me, I'll just zoom out and you can see that you have this piece of paper basically um, overlaying the um, the map that isn't there to be seen. I don't know if we can... oh yeah, it's here, you can choose the background image. I explained that earlier. If we use Bing, that's the usually the best. Um, but um, it, it used custom there because we used the field papers. 
So that's all saved and I'll click on the OpenStreetMap logo in the top left corner and see if it shows the changes already. We have to refresh the page by pressing Ctrl F5. Fingers crossed. Yay! There's the result. It doesn't show the hill, it does. All good. So the bounds, the meadow, the pasture, the bottoms, the hill. Great stuff. And it shows the name of the river as well. Success! Thank you for watching and if you have any questions put them in the comments or just talk to me, write to me if you have my contact details. And I hope this has inspired you to do some field name mapping and um, maybe I'll do another video if I can come up with a, an idea. Thanks, bye! But before you turn off, I only came up with the idea to show you this after I had said my goodbyes. Um, overpass turbo.eu can harvest OpenStreetMap data for certain things that you ask it to do. Um, so I put in land use meadow plus name and land use farmland plus name, which will give me all the land use that has a name on it, i.e. field names. And that's the result. So you can see, for some reason, a lot has been done in Kilkenny. I wonder why. Um, but if we zoom in there now, um, the Townsend that my friend lives in is Corbally or Cold. He explained it to me. It sits on the border, but it's north of Abbey Leaks. So if we zoom in there, um, you can see those five fields outlined. Um, yeah, it's not great. That just gives you the intensity of where food names have been done. If that isn't motivating, I don't know what is. Bye.